Hello Zebherd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today we are still on the hunt for a traveler sword to do the side quest called The Weapon Connoisseur, which um, we can take a look at right over here. A young man named Neb in Hentino Village wants you to show him a particular weapon. If you find a traveler sword, bring it to him. Some of you were really helpful last episode and let me know about uh, where I can find one. So I'm gonna check that right now. It looks like a uh, find one in the equestrian riding course ruins to the west of Hitino Village. So, actually a pretty easy place I could have started, I suppose. So that's over there, where is the riding ruins? The equestrian, which I think means like horse riding, right? Um, this is Hitino Village, so it would be west over this way. Don't quite see that, but maybe I misread it, maybe I misunderstood, but maybe we'll start looking around this area, maybe we'll start from this area. Because going out this way really is pretty far off. Uh, so I think we'll start here, because this looks like a ruins to me, and like also like um, a riding course. Like that that looks like what this is. Because remember, this is where we found our first, first horse and sort of rode around here. So maybe we can find something. I know there is a group of like moblins and stuff over this way, so maybe we'll start with that and see how things end up going. Or uh, bulk of ones, not moblins, but we'll try it. We'll see how things go. If not anything else, we can earn us some monster parts, which is a big goal of what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. Hopefully everything turns out well. All right. But uh, yeah, we'll just try another full episode of getting more side quests done. Apparently there are over 70 side quests in the game. We've completed at least like 20, right? So hopefully it won't be too bad to get some of them. Some of them are real quick, you know, it's like boom, boom, bam. You have this item, here we go. Done. Some of them are like, oh, go on this grand adventure and find this weapon for me, or do something else, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it always seems worth it because we get more things in the game completed, especially if we just have more excuses to get more enemies beat up. Because I swear, some enemies do hold traveler sword, so that's what I'll be looking for, really. Looks like there might be another enemy little thing over this way. There's definitely some ruins of some sort. So we'll look around, we'll poke around. Oh my gosh, look at this dude. So I also have been trying to remember to take photos of dudes. So let me go ahead and take a photo of him really quickly. He's a silver moblin. He has one of the uh, best shields in the game. So now that I've done that. Oh, hello. Can I uh, get rid of you real quick? And uh, you'll drop all of your stuff. How did you not notice me? Oh, that's right. Frenric bow, cool. He doesn't realize because I'm wearing the thing. Awesome, okay, so we'll go ahead and try to get him as much as I can. We got the wind cleaver here and that might be good. Oh, he has a giant claymore. Okay, oh, I made him drop the shield. Ugh, not bad, I already had one of those already. Let me go ahead and snag his shield. I can't right now, okay, that's a problem. Uh, okay, this is a little scary. I gotta remember, I can, no, 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 I want to, do this, freeze him. I don't know, well, he's like glitching out right now. He's just walking that way for some reason. Okay, whoa, be careful. Hey, friend, uh, hold on. You know what, can we real quickly? This might be a bad idea. That's what you were trying to do? Oh, you stinker! You actually thought that one out, didn't you? All right, you know what? Ugh, oh, that got you a little bit. Not as much as I was hoping for. He, he knows I'm not a friend of his anymore, even though I'm wearing the same face. I look like a friend, but I'm a foe. Come on. Oh, we almost got him knocked off. Come on, he's trying to kick me, he can't keep up. We got him, there goes all of his stuff. Ooh, look at this over here. Oh, look at this, I've never seen this before. Oh, I missed, that's sort of bad. Um, boom, wow, that's insane. Um, so let me definitely grab like all of this. And then I can definitely drop a shield or two. Um, actually, maybe not. Um, we'll drop on the, 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 the 52, yep. Drop this 52, and this is a 72, holy cow! That is amazing. We'll just equip a normal 55 for now. So that they didn't even know it was me that did that. They're like, what, what, what was that? It was me. <laughs> okay, so what else can we do in this area? It doesn't look like there's too much on this side, but um, oh, let me get this. Every piece of material will be helpful. Speaking of which, why is there a couple pieces over this way? Oh, the guy that exploded landed over this way. How ridiculous is that? So we probably wanna climb back up so that we can get up that way and get onto there and beat up the rest of those guys. Oh hey, a keys. Um, yeah, this'll work. So I don't know if these guys are gonna drop anything, but we'll look around. Just try to continue through the ruins. Apparently, you know, we can find a traveler sword somewhere around here. So I'll keep looking until we find it and then everything will be good in the world and we can continue on with a different quest. Oh, hey, hey, hold on. There we go. 
Okay, so yeah, we'll try to get over to the, those guys. The best way to do that would just be to jump and glide, and that should make it. Hey guys, uh, do you think I could just, there we go, not bad. That guy fell off, which is sort of fine, because I can go for you. Oh, the, the sword broke, there we go. <laughs> okay, so what do we got in this thing? We have 10 more arrows, perfect. I have been needing to go shop for some arrows, five more right there. Oh gosh, I think some stuff rolled off. So I'm actually gonna chase you to a more flat area. Perfect. Oh, I missed. There we go, I should probably just use normal arrows for a bit. There we go. He's getting pretty low on health already. I haven't really done too much to him. So that's great. Because we can just sort of smack him around for a little bit too. Oh, fairy, 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 give me that, give me that. No! Oh, that's your fault, buddy. I blame you, full on. Master Sword is low on energy. No, don't you dare fall. Don't you dare fall, he's down over there. Come on, come this way. What did you toss at me? I don't know. Um, But I'm gonna go ahead and... Ooh, what should I hit you with? I guess this. You know what? Get out of here with that, dude. Don't you dare all of your stuff. I need to grab it quick before it rolls down the mountain. Nice, we got it. I think you dropped the ruby. Pretty cool. Hmm. What's over this way? What, what's sparkling? Just a boko bow. So no traveler sword. Unfortunately. That's fine, though. So you should probably start in this area. I mean, this might be like a little area where you can walk your horse. I think that's what it's supposed to be, like a horse riding area. So a little circle like that would make a lot of sense. We sometimes find, you know, Bulka blends that are attacking travelers from around here. So we'll just try it out. Like Katina Village is right up that way. What do we got going on now? Oh, this is an interesting little hut. Looks a lot like the one from the beginning of the game. Oh, maybe this is it. Arrows, I mean, I, I'm not gonna complain about arrows, but not what exactly I was looking for. Let's get this Royal Broadsword. Start breaking some stuff around here. I feel so bad, this isn't even our house. And we're just destroying the place. Hmm. So not quite anything there. But there, this area definitely has a couple ruins. What is with this? I feel like this might be a mini game or something. Like you see these bullseyes? What if I just hit one? I did something. Um. But maybe it is like a little quest. Maybe I can find somebody to talk to. I can hop on top, top of a horse and do something. That'd be interesting. I've never really explored this area before, I suppose. Hmm. And what is this about? Oh, I see. Whoa. What is that noise? Oh, hello. Can I get rid of you two? Thank you. I wanna grab those quickly <laughs> before they fall off. Uh, I know what to do with this one. I need to go ahead and pick it up, move it, and then move that rock, and that's probably a Korok seat, I'd have to imagine. Just throw that over there, doesn't really matter. Oh, sir, leave me alone. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, I was right, Korok seed. We haven't gotten a Korok seed in a little while. That's nice to find. Ninth one. Oh, sorry, drop that on you. Got a little fox. Okay, so, uh, I'm not finding too much around here that I need. I don't know why it's so tough for me to find just a, like a single traveler sword, but it is. You can hit those guys in one hit and take some down. Drops a couple more things. I see this dude. Sometimes these guys drop traveler swords or like just drop swords in general. Ooh, let me get some of these. Hot-footed frog, get you as well. You're not getting away. Oh, you got away. Uh, okay, well, this guy dropped something. Not really the most must-have stuff. And then a fish, a mighty carp. Those are always good to have. You know, sometimes I just enjoy exploring this game. Even if we aren't get, making the most of progress, it can sometimes just be nice to do this. I might wanna go that way. Getting curious to see what's like over here. Also, these masks do make us move a little quicker, apparently, according to the guy when we bought them last episode, like we have the Moblin mask on right now. And there might not be anything of importance over this way, but that's what I'm trying to find out. Gotta be careful, I do not wanna run all stamina, because that would just be a pain in the butt. Come on, I'm almost there, almost there, almost there. Oh, we're getting close, can I make it? I sure hope I can. I wanna be annoyed if I can't. No! Get out of here with that, that's baloney. Jeez. Where are we? Back where we started, that makes sense. Maybe if I climb up this and glide my way through a little bit, that's usually better than swimming. And I didn't even start swimming at full stamina. So we'll see if this is any better. And you know what, I sh you know what if I'm gonna do this, I'm equipping my swimming stuff. That'll make it at least a little bit better. There's no headgear for swimming. 
which is weird. It'd be cool if he has like a little snorkel suit. But now we should be swimming a little faster. There's gotta be something over here, right? There's not gonna be like a whole bunch of nothing. There might be a whole bunch of nothing. Gotta be totally honest, I don't know. But there's like one lone rock. It could be something. Pick it up and find out. Yeah, there we go. Just a rock, pick it up and see what you get. Get another Korok seed. So that's our 10th one. I'm gonna plop this one down. And what's in here? Nothing. Okay, I do see that dude over that way. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to him very easily. Like if maybe if I, whoop. And will he notice me as I glide on by? Maybe if I get lower. Oh, there's a chest waiting there too. That won't hit him. Or will it? No, it didn't hit him. Dude, I need you to get out of here. He's like, what was that? Can I go on top of a chest? That'd be really helpful right about now. No, I can't. Um, I could, ow, climb up here where there, okay. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so you might hit me once or twice, but I'm gonna hit you back. And then when it comes to this, I don't know what to do about it at the moment. I mean, what I could do, sort of a foolish thing to do, but I'll try it. Oh. Oh, the arrows are all stuck in there, so maybe I can keep them. Where'd it go? Oh, that's not really what I wanted. Try it again. Oh, is it too far away? I don't think so. I just gotta get a little bit more over. This is probably the least productive way to do everything I do. Pretty used to that. I feel like I'm playing first person. Pretty cool. But this just dips it underwater, so it's really not moving it as much as I, you know, why am I doing this way? Once again, I have forgotten that I have the ice thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I guess I should just go back on that thing then, because, well, maybe not. Here, look. Go over this way. I'm trying so much for a chest that's gonna give me like one piece of amber. But that's the way I do things. You know, we're 65 or 64 episodes into this. I, th I think people hopefully have gotten the flow of how I how I do things. So if I just hop over, remember that the ones I climb on, like after I make a couple, they'll sort of uh, undo themselves, the older ones at the least, so I can get over here without too much of a risk. Ooh, perfect. And then definitely get that, and then get this. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. Got it, and then, first off, can I get all my arrows off of there? <laughs> Purple rope, okay, that was worth it. That's a couple more arrows worth of things I can buy, and I still get all my arrows back. See, everything works out in the end. No need to complain. I'm not upset. Let's swim back this way. Also, it might have been just be easier if I did the raft, but I'm always so bad with the raft that I never have a Korok leaf on hand, so didn't really work. No Korok leaves in our inventory. So I do see this guy. Oh, hello. Uh, flop, flop, and oh, knocked down that tree. Wasn't intentional, but that's what happened. We got some Hylian rice as well. So I'm really not finding what the game was telling me, or what, I mean, I guess what some people told me. But uh, we'll keep looking. Um, this path is really interesting. There has to be like a guy around here that's like gonna initiate like a side quest or some kind of mini game or something. With all these different panels sitting around, you'd have to think so. Maybe it's just sort of something natural if I just came here with a horse, it would just be something that happens. I really don't know, but it really is a horse riding area, so I think it's what we're looking for. Can I go ahead and freeze you really quickly? I don't think I really needed to do that. Hiya! Oh, that didn't, okay, well that'll hurt him once he pops back out. Yep, he just faints. Wow, you guys have a lot of health. I mean, for being red variants, at least. Go ahead and smack you. And, uh, oh, here we go, we got this guy. Oh, he has got an interesting shield there. I don't know if I've seen that one before. I think actually I have. We don't see it very often. Um, um, I had to pull up my shield a little bit more often as well. Oh, didn't even have to worry about it there. We are destroying you right now, buddy. You don't even know what's happening. You don't even know. You don't even know. Got you again. Can you, you get out of here. Sorry, but I don't need you around right now. Come on, almost got you, almost got you. Gotcha. So what was that? That was a Shield of the Mind's Eye. Yeah, we have seen that, okay. Still cool. Where's his weapon? Oh, it's more than 36 damage? Well, let's get rid of this thing then. Nice, how much? 48, not bad, and every time with you. You guys have been popping up a lot recently. There you go. <laughs> Not a lot of room to work there, was there? Hmm. 
Oh, another one. What are you what are you doing out here? Leave me alone. Guess I should have uh, been wearing the uh, the other mask. Might have been a little bit more helpful. I'm going the wrong way for that. Uh, I need this right here. Perfect. And then maybe get some food in me. Yeah, eat a couple of these drumsticks we got. There we go. And then, oh, can't believe you broke that, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Just hit you with this like crazy. That did okay damage. I really want that that spear. It looks cool. Ow! Stop that, dude. Oh, you know what, dude? You're done. You're done. Gotcha. Gotcha. And gotcha one more time. Ready? There we go. What a jerk. Just eat whatever I can. That's not going to be too much of an issue. Uh, I'll just leave it like that for now. And we'll pick up all of this. And then this right here is a serpentine spear. How much damage? 30, uh, not quite. Um, yeah, I guess it's the worst one we got. So, unfortunately not really worth it. But hey, had to try. So still no traveler sword. I gotta like, me. I don't really wanna look this up if I don't have to, but it's looking like I have to, cause like where else can I really check? I, mean, I can still, you know, keep exploring the area, but at this rate, I just don't know. Another one? Okay, no, this one's not a silver, this is blue. Speaking of which, I was gonna say I haven't taken a photo of you yet, but a little too late for that. Got it. So uh, yeah, at this rate, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to find a place where I can find a traveler sword, so it's at least something that's not too much of a hassle, you know? So I did look it up, and it said equestrian riding horse, or, or horse riding course, that's what it is. If we take a look, Tina Village equestrian riding course, so maybe somewhere around here I just haven't seen yet. Hello lady, you want some new clothes? Quick question for you, how do you know when the weather gets extreme, you know, like too hot or too cold? If you wanna stay comfy, the keys change your outfit to match the temperature. That's why you should always pack a spare change of clothes when you're exploring. Well, that's why I have like seven pairs of clothes. We're all kinds of stylish. Speaking of which, I'm gonna go ahead and re-equip the stealthy clothes, grab this honey. Master Sword's power has been restored. So somewhere around here, according to the internet, and now number of, a number of different facets has told me that there's supposed to be a Traveler Sword around here. So maybe I just haven't quite looked around enough. And we have this whole area this way that we've just now finished beating up everybody who is here. So maybe if I just did a better job at exploring, Wait, didn't I get you? You know, this is a perfect opportunity. Let me go ahead and, no, wait, that didn't count. Delete. Gotcha, there you go. I feel like I'm paparazzi. It's like, hey, can I take a picture of Blue Boca Balloon? I gotta do it for my photo book. <laughs> okay, well, there's that done. Um, Got a bunch of materials over there. So we've already been in that home. That wasn't really what I was looking for. So where else could there be a sword? I mean, tons of places, I'm sure. I still don't know about this whole thing. Like maybe if I did it while I was on a horse, something interesting might happen. Maybe I should just try popping them all anyways. Because it might get me a Korok seed, which is always good. There's only so many of those in the game. Oh, I missed that one. Gotta go get my arrow back. <laughs> I don't know, this is weird. I'm, I'm like sure it's supposed to be on a horse, but I would rather not have to go all the way over. I don't know where my arrow went. Oh well. I would rather not have to go all the way over, get a horse, and come back. So, we're just gonna try breaking all of these, as many as I can find. Oh, there's two over this way. Can I, uh... But I'd have to imagine that's the goal, so it probably isn't gonna work. Boom, got him. What's over this way? Anything interesting? Just a bunch of flowers. There is just a wooden bow chilling out. There's a wooden bow that can just chill out over here. I'm sure there's gonna be a sword somewhere. Jeez, why is it so hard just to find one type of sword? When you, when you realize there's so many different type, types of weapons in this game, it gets a little overwhelming. But currently, I just don't have a Traveler Sword, so that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that. And I really don't see what else I could do. I'm just gonna keep exploring. So I think I destroyed all the signposts. Oh, was that there before? I swear that wasn't there before. Huh, maybe for destroying all these, we unlock that. That'd be pretty interesting. Let's try it out, ready? Boom. Yeah, there we go! Maybe that's what I need to do, Yaha, you found me. There's a Korok seed for us, 11 in total now. Uh, but now what? I really don't know. Gotta keep looking. I know I, I keep saying that, but like, what else can you do? Oh, can I take a picture of you guys? No, I just shouldn't have uh, gotten so close. 
Hey, you still over here? No, you flew away. Darn it. Can I get a picture of the Koroks? Would that count? I don't think so. Oh, oh, rusty halberd. Once again, another weapon. Maybe I just need to walk in, walk around with this view. Yep. <laughs> hey, welcome to my uh, first person vlog. I don't see anything, but at least this might make it easier to point things out. This is ridiculous. This is the lows I have reached trying to find one specific sword. You know, it's insane. I might have to just look for different places to find one. Oh, but we can get these ores in the meantime. That'd be good. So, what do I have to bust those? I mean, I have definitely some bigger weapons, I think. We'll just use a nice claymore. That should be good. If I didn't miss. There we go. That has some rock salt. This has some rock salt. That all I'm gonna get is rock salt? Might be. Oh, I got some amber. All right, then it was worth it. Oh, okay, so I read that maybe in Kakariko Village by the waterfall, but then I remember I see you. I wanna take a photo of you. Oh, you're going. Don't I have to? No, 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 this is the wrong thing. Here it is. Okay, let's zoom in. Bloopy, save. Hi, Bloopy. Can I sneak up on you and like talk to you? I don't know who I'd take. Oh, oh, you ran. Okay, so I really don't know. I mean, I can try to keep following you. Do you just totally disappear? But I think all I need to do is take a photo of you. There's Bloopy again. I don't know if Bloopy leads me anywhere. I can't remember. Or at least not anywhere I haven't already found. Hey. Come on, just sneak up a little bit more. Is there any way to catch Bloopy? Come on, come on, come on, ready? No, no, I don't know if you can. I don't want to attack him, he's so adorable. He's just running around now. Doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> oh, and he just disappears. Okay, well, at the least, I took a photo of him, and there's a blue nightshade waiting for me. So, yeah, by the waterfall near the entrance of Kakarika Village, which would be due this way, uh, here we are, Kakarika Village. Not this entrance, but the entrance over that way. I know there's a waterfall over there, and maybe it won't be there. Maybe these are like one-time find items, but usually they're not, right? Hard to say. Also, is there anything on this little shelf going on right here? No, it's just a random shelf? Odd. There are some like arrows. Oh, I missed them. Oh well. <laughs> I don't have the time for it. Let's just keep moving. See, if we take a look around, the waterfall, there should be a waterfall, right? I'm almost positive. Maybe not. I swear that there was, maybe I was just thinking about this entrance? Weird, okay, I'm not seeing a waterfall anymore. So, not here. I'm really gonna waste my time, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm trying my best to find stuff. These side quests sometimes just be, you know, a matter of what you already have, and that can be a mess. Ugh. Okay, so there are some waterfalls this way. Can there be a traveler's sword? No. Okay, not over here at the least, but it's not the only part. There's a little bit of water over this way. We just check out all these like streaming waters and maybe it'll be something. Maybe it'll be absolutely nothing. I don't know. That's why we gotta find out. Oh, hi, there's a rock. I'm nerd a frog. Get the frog at the least. Hot-footed frog. But no. Still not much, and, th and at this point, it's not really the entrance anymore, and there's there's some water here. We'll check out that one, and then that's it. Like, I mean, I just, ugh. why is it so hard to find the one sword? Maybe we should just move on to a different quest, and ah, I don't know why that scared me. I should be ready for you guys to pop up at this point, because I was not expecting that, at the least, for no reason. Okay, get this out, and then start beating these guys up. Come on, get out of here and pick up whatever I need to pick up. I, I want the monster parts still. I know I can't carry any more melee weapons that I'll have to change if I find this sword. I just wanted the pieces. Why do they keep getting in up? What the heck? Maybe I have to defeat all of them for their stuff to drop? I don't know. Ah, that's actually the case. I hadn't realized that. Okay, well there we go. Couple more monster parts. This waterfall then. There's another frog. But no sword. So unless it's something I've already gotten, this isn't helping me too much. I'm gonna pass my bedtime. Hi. I got a question for you, kiddo. Are you much of a mountain climber? I was back when I was your age. Nothing gets me going like the side of a treacherous cliff, daring me to climb it. I'm selling a few things I picked up in my travels. Doesn't cost you to look, I'll take a look. Oh. Ooh, this is my finest stuff, ingredients guaranteed to give you a boost of vigor when you're out on the road. Don't need much of this. I mean, I'll take, oh, that's expensive. Never mind. I won't take any of that. All right then. Thanks, need anything else? No. See ya. All right, well, at this rate, 
Oh, there's another bladed. Okay, I gave one of those to uh, the guy last episode. So at this rate, I don't know. I might want to just poke around on our quest and try that one. And if I find a traveler sword along the way, awesome. All right, so, oh, we got a blood mood coming up. Yes, we do. Okay, so it's in the middle of the night, so I probably won't find the character I need to. But the next one is something about sheeps, and I gotta find a character named Koyin to do it. So I don't know why I'm climbing up here. You know, I just wanted to get a good view of everything. Oh, oh, got some amber for that. Wait, no, I wanted to toss that. Ready? Throw. Oh, that went a little farther than I thought. I caused it. Me throwing that pot caused the blood moon. All right, well, everybody we've defeated in the last couple episodes, they're coming back with a vengeance. They're gonna be angry. They're like, ooh, I'm not gonna have that Traveler's Sword, but I'll give you something, all right. Can I skip this? There we go. So yeah, we need to find Koyin, but I don't know exactly where she may be. What happened, did I pick up the amber? I think I did. All right, did that other piece of pottery do anything? I suppose not. So I might have to just wait till it's daytime. That's a case, I guess I should have gone to my own bed. He's the color dye guy. Hmm. I mean, I'm gonna guess Koyan's a farmer, seeing how this was about sheep and stuff, so I could just try to look around and find this person, and then afterwards I can uh, try to start the quest whenever I'm supposed to. So uh, go to each area. I mean, I don't see any sheep around here, but this is uh, Nikki. This is Knack. <laughs> Nikki Knack. I like that. Hey, hey, no. <laughs> Door is mysteriously closing on its own. Oh, here we go. Wait until morning. That's great. That'll be nice and helpful. So, uh, hmm. At this point, I mean, all, all I can really do is just look around. But yeah, some people have been asking me like what my goal is after the side quests. I've been sort of thinking about that. I mean, this is sort of like my go-to thing to do while I'm figuring that out, you know? Ooh, can I take this? I feel bad taking it, but hey, if nobody's gonna stop me. What about in this, because this is definitely the home of a farmer. There's a kid here. What about you? You are Tamana. I think you, I told you to leave, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I think you did. I thought so, I'm sure I had a good reason, or did I? I have no clue. Uh, okay. So, nobody in here, that's for sure. <laughs> they want me to leave, so I'm gonna leave and be respectful. But yeah, I mean, there's a couple things I've been trying to, you know, save up so I can buy some of the uh, Breath of the Wild Amiibos, so that we can do that. But then after that, oh, here we go. Here's a farmer that's out here. This might just be Knack, though. It's Knack, okay. Sorry, Knack, don't need you right now. And there's some other farms up the road, some with more wildlife, so probably what we're looking for, to be honest with you. So we'll try to do that now. Well, like this, these areas have like some little garden patches. We might as well just check out who's inside, if they have anything for us right now. Nobody, nobody's inside. But you know, Hatina, we live here, you know, so it might be a good idea if we just talk to some more people who live here. It'd be funny if they went full on like Animal Crossing style and a big quest was just finding Reed. Are you an adventurer? I'm the head of a Hitino village, call me Reed. Isn't this a peaceful place we have here, don't you think? Indeed. <laughs> yes, we're finally feeling a bit of recovery from the Great Calamity. Our village is pleasant, peaceful, and has plenty of food to go around. Please stay as long as you like. I know, I live here. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, there's a girl in the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab. Yeah, we've met her. No worries. Oh, hello. You're Clavia. Hi. Morning. Did you happen to find the treasure by any chance? I guess it probably wasn't fair of me to expect you to do all the exploring adventuring, but maybe you could split the treasure to 7030 or something like that. Okay. Ah, I'm just kidding. I'm plenty satisfied with what I have in my life as it is. The key is always to live within your means, you know? I don't know what quest she's talking about, but. I guess we'll find out eventually if we're doing all of them. Okay, so still not the character I'm looking for. That's a shovel. That's a pitchfork, actually. Never mind. Hmm. He's going up this way. I know there's a couple different like wildlife farmers in little patches. Oh, look at the duckies. I am taking a photo of you guys. Bright-chested duck. Beautiful. I need to do this, take more photos. Like an armored carp? There's a photo. Wonderful, wonderful. I just wanna be a nature photographer. It's my new goal. Okay, so what's up this way? Not quite, oh. Ah, oh, I got excited. Get this thing out of here. I don't know why I did that, but I did. Okay, well, have we taken a picture of an apple yet? We have not. Nature photography, it's what I do now. 
Okay, so, um... Yeah, I, I just trying to look for where the sheep might be. There's like a couple windmills out here. I know there's like, I think it's up here, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely, oh, hey, here they are, all the sheep. Hi, sheep. Highland sheep, you get a photo. And then there's a cow over this way. That is a Hatino cow. Well, that's a, a Hatino cow's butt. But still a picture of a Hatino cow nonetheless. I don't got anything else I can, oh, oh, there was something. What is it question marking, delete? Because we just took a picture of an apple. Maybe something back this way? Yeah, definitely something over here. Oh, maybe it's this guy. I don't know if it, taking pictures of people counts. I guess not. They'll pay, they'll all pay. What's going on? Oh, Goyen, hey, you. Yes? What do you want? Oh, don't act so clueless. Although, fine. You seem harmless enough. Forgive me, I've just been on edge with all these monsters running around. They come up from Hatino Beach to steal my sheep. If someone doesn't do something soon, I won't have any left. Oh, really? The sheep rustlers. I hate the gang of, mo of monsters on Hatino Beach. Which monsters? The stupid ones who attack anything that moves. Last time they showed up, I gave them a taste of my pitchfork. But I had second thoughts about following them back to their camp on Hatino Beach. I was mad enough to spit, but maybe not mad enough to take on seven monsters at once. Anything else you wanna know? Hatino Beach? It's southeast of the village. Follow the winding road and you'll be there before you know it. It's well known enough that you can probably find it on the map. Come to that. Anything else you wanna know? No, I'm gonna go ahead and beat him up. Uh, good, uh, goodbye. I'm sorry if we got off on the wrong foot. Uh, that's all. All right, what about you over here? Oh, here we go, farmer's pitchfork. Did that count? I don't think it did. Here, hold on. Got it, perfect. Let's talk to you a little bit. Maybe you'll have something to say. Uh, here we go. Oi. Hold there, you're up early. Hmm? Are you some kind of wanderer? Hmm, interesting, this could work out. You look handy with a bow. Might not been a poor farmer out. What do you need? Oh ho ho, I had a lucky feeling you were the answer to my prayers. So what I need is for you to hunt some deer out in the Reston Forest. They're overpopulated these days and it's destroying the forest. That's why I was hoping you could hunt all the deer you can in one minute. Oh, I don't know how I'll feel about this. Thank you, can, can you go right away? Is there a trick to this? A trick, well, I guess it helps to have a strong bow to take him down with one shot. And of course, you want to get as close enough to the deer to line up your shot without them noticing you. So, think you can do it? Yes. <laughs> what a trooper, I'm counting on you. I don't know how I feel about this, but this is something. It's Retsum Forest, or is it Restum? I think it's Retsum. Okay. About the deer hunter, no time on the present, right? Get started and I'll call you once your minute's up, okay? All right, well we got one right here. I feel awful already. And it's, it's all on my own dime, too. Oh, my royal bow is badly damaged. Let's go ahead and switch to something weaker. I really don't, okay, this is one of the weakest bows we have, so never mind. Um, do I get to pocket the meat at the least? How many are we supposed to do? Is there like a trick to this in the way that like there's some expectations? I see, oh, here we go. Got you, and then, oh, that got you, wow. Okay, I'm sort of impressed with myself with that one. Oh, that, no, oh, okay, my bow broke. So let's go ahead and, whoop, got you. So we got 28 seconds left, let's go ahead. I feel so bad, this is awful. This is so not cool. Oh gosh, this one's running. Uh, got you, okay. I'm so sorry, please forgive me. Please forgive me. I don't see any others, this is the problem now. I mean, how far am I allowed to travel? Oh, there's one this way. Okay, we got six seconds left, can I get him? I can, okay. Well, there's that done, and then, right? No, that's a, that's a border. <laughs> that's time, come back, wanderer. I feel so bad. Uh, is there like, a, like, can I get something special for doing this if I do it enough? I don't know. Is this a quest exactly? I don't know. So I wasted a lot of arrows there, but maybe you'll get me something good in return. You got seven deer. I knew you were a go-getter, but this is more than I ever dreamed of. Here's a reward for you. Red rupee. That's okay. The thing with these deer, though, is we really have to get their numbers under control. Hey, Wonder, can I ask you to go again? No way, I don't have enough arrows. Oh, well, shucks. Let me know if you change your mind. 
So I don't know if there's like anything more we could do there. Maybe if we got like every single one in the forest or something. For now, let's try out our new quest. It was the sheep stuff. Let me save as well. I just feel like I need to. Uh, so uh, where are the quests? The sheep rustlers. A shepherd in Hatino village named Coyne is worried that the monsters will make off with their flock of sheep. According to her, that the monster in question conger, question congregate at Hatino Beach, or kind of gate, okay. She won't breathe easy until every last monster is defeated. So where is that exactly? Down this way. So if we do follow that path, it is correct. We'll get to where we need to be. What about you? I think we've talked to you, yes. Hello. <sighs> Hello. Sorry to bother you. Didn't mean to. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go down this way. And I'll probably start gliding whenever it seems right. I mean, I guess it might not be. Might just be faster than to teleport up here and glide down to it, beat up those bad guys, and then we got something going for us. That's good. We might actually be able to complete a side quest today and not just bumble around the entire time. <laughs> That'd be great, because it's already been like 40 minutes of today's episode. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to stay productive, but this game sometimes is really big and really difficult to do things properly. <laughs> okay. I'm glad we're hovering above uh, 6,000 rupees, though. That's good because I eventually want to get everything, and it's just, it's gonna take forever. <laughs> I might eventually do like off-camera grinding, but for right now there's still enough to do in the game, I don't need to do that exactly. Okay, let's go for this. Whoop! Ooh, what's going on with this area? I mean, I don't think much. Maybe I should traverse this the normal way, though. Maybe that'd be smarter. It's always less productive. Okay, I've already taken a picture of a pink heron. Yeah, down here, this is where the beach is. I don't see too many other opponents or anything that could be possibly taken on. Anyways, if I keep going this way, I'm not quite gonna reach where I wanna go, so we'll take a shortcut down this way. Yeah, I feel like I haven't explored this part of the beach all too much before, so cool to be here. There are a lot of enemies. She was not kidding around with that. I have 14 arrows to make this work. Some of these guys are silver, so I do have to be careful but I think we're gonna start with you. Perfect, okay, that was actually really good. So I might even be able to sneak up there. Did you see me? Did you see me? You didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. You saw something. Okay, uh, can I, is it too late? I think it's too late, I can't put the mask on. All right, well, then I'll, you know what? Now's a good time then to put on the gear. Uh, the good gear. Yep, yep, and yep, okay. Okay, you know what? A little crowded to say the least. Let's go ahead and thin this out a little bit. Ow, what hit me? I don't know, but at least it got rid of some of the easier ones, right? All right, well that was sort of baloney because now I'm not gonna really be able to make the most out of this situation. Come on, get rid of this dude. Okay, never mind. he disappeared. Go this way. All you have is like one bow, not really any arrows, I don't think. Okay, you're gonna have arrows, so if I could maybe take care of you. Oh, dude, seriously? I'm like playing so badly right now, I'm so sorry. Get rid of this guy, pull out this, pause you, just slice at your face, and then, hiya! Not bad. Keep going, I'm not done. I am not done, I'm not finished. Come on. Yeah, not bad, not bad. So, oh hey, not even got his little chest. The Sheep Rustlers, update map objective, good. So let's go ahead and pick up all of that. Over this way, I got a couple of things as well. Um, Lysel Spear, I'm not really caring too much about. Lots of different materials that I'm not picking up for some reason. Okay, we got some food. Oh, the sheep! Can I save you guys? Can like, I pick you up and bring you back? Poor things. I can't. I've already taken pictures of you. I can double check. Okay, I don't wanna attack you, that'd be awful. I'm gonna leave you here and hopefully she can come back to get you, but now she doesn't have to worry about any of those monsters, which is great. Uh, in the meantime, we got a ruby, cool. And then for this, I will uh, go ahead and bust this open. I will use this, boom. Lots of apples, and that's about it. Okay, Mr. Crab, I'm gonna get you, and we're gonna head back. Hopefully we can talk to her and good things will happen from it. She won't be like, well, you could have brought them back. You'd think if we're able to bring objects in all of our inventory, we'd be able to grab onto somebody and teleport them with the uh, thing, with the the Sheikah Slate. I don't know if that's possible. It'd be so interesting if you could just grab a sheep and just teleport away. 
I mean, I'm sure you could if everything in your inventory, some of which is living, you know, like you have the frogs and the, you know, like last episode we had the fireflies with the, uh, there was the dragonflies. You know, it gave it the context that they were still alive, you know, so you never know. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and just talk to her wherever she may be. She's gonna be back at her farm, I gotta assume. And just, we'll do what we can with this. Where are you? You are right here. Hello. How are you? Urgh. The sheep have calmed down. I think they get that they're not about to be snatched at any moment. Hey, sorry if I'm off the mark in asking this, but are you the one who took care of those monsters? That's right. I had a feeling. Then the sheep uh, all calmed down. I thought maybe he did it. Oh, when the sheep all calmed down. So it seems I owe you some thanks. This isn't much of a reward, but hey, it's light. The count, uh, that counts towards something, or counts for something. Fresh milk, nice. This fresh milk comes from the Tino cows and white goats kept in the village. It's delicious on, on, on its own, but can also be used as an ingredient in soups and stews. It'll, all, it, it'll be nice to have a night's sleep without worrying about my flock. And uh, if you want, you can talk to me anytime, or not. What else do you have to say then? The sheep have been eating and sleeping better. They're yielding more milk too. You're single-handedly, or you single-handedly saved my flock. Awesome, so there's another quest done. So I guess that means it's time to check for another one. So the next one is Sunken Treasure. The retired fisherman Rosal lives a quiet life, spending each day simply staring at the sea. He shared a legend of sunken treasure. The treasure sleeps in the center of the Golden Triangle. You should check it out. The treasure sleeps in the center of the sunken triangle. First off, he's a dude that lives all the way down here. The center of a golden triangle would probably be a piece of the Triforce. But in this situation, I have no clue what that means. <laughs> so, uh, maybe I could go to him and get some hints. If not, might be something I look into looking up. I would rather not if I don't have to, but you know the deal. <laughs> so let's get over there. This is, uh, one of the beachside areas. I feel like there was a couple things we could do here. I mean, whenever we find the kid, I think it was a kid, maybe it was actually somebody from the Quark Forest that wanted a picture of the little blue bunny we found earlier in today's episode. Now that we've done that, that's perfect because we could uh, just cash that in whenever we find it. So that might be a nice one to complete if we're having a hard time with this one. But uh, in time, in time, right now we're here and I'm gonna go ahead and try to find that old dude, talk to him a little bit, see if we can't get more information about this golden triangle that I have not seen. So, don't know exactly what he means. But uh, once we find out, we can go and do that one, and that'll probably be it for today's episode, I'm not sure. So he's this dude. Hey there, Rosal. Have you taken a liking to this village? Feel free to ask me any questions you may have. Uh, I don't know, um, about the village. <laughs> Coralon Village is a fishing village. When I was younger, I used to be a fisherman myself. The fish are delicious, you should try to eat some at least once. Um, Eventide Island, or Eventide, large island in the sea to the east of the village is called Eventide Island. There are some legends about that island, so the village fishermen tend to avoid it whenever possible. I've been there. What? You've been there? That's amazing. Anything else you'd like to know? That's it? Come on. Um, about the ocean? How's the treasure hunt going? Did you find it yet? Don't forget the treasure sleeps in the center of the Golden Triangle. Anything else you'd like to know? Ruins. Uh, if you walk east from the village you can, and keep going for a bit, you'll end up at Palmore v Beach. Uh, there's some ruins there. One of the youths from the village, Garini, goes there often to poke around. If you're interested, you should go see them. Garini should be able to help tell you a lot about them. Uh, okay, so it's clearly somewhere out in the water. If I take a look, like, is there any kind of... I mean, I see this isn't really a golden triangle, though. Where in the world is just like a triangle in general? I and mean, when I go out this way, obviously too far, but I have to assume when we talk to him about the ocean, that's what he mentions. So if I take this and go out to the ocean, would I just be able to find it? I don't know. What about like in here? That's sort of a triangle. I don't think that's what he means. It's a golden triangle, right? So like, let me take a photo of a, of a fish. There we go, mighty porgy. The only problem now is I don't actually have anything. Well, I actually have a wind cleaver. If that'll work, I'll use this. No. Why is the wind cleaver not working? Isn't that the whole point? So this just doesn't work. 
All right, well, how do you guys sell around your boats then? Can I get a Korok leaf from somewhere around here? I don't know if this is gonna work out. I might just have to look it up. Okay, so I do, I do see it now. It's three, it's not a golden, but there is a triangle here. So, we'll have to find a way to get in that. I'm guessing, obviously, a boat would be the most helpful. The only problem is I need to find a Korok leaf, so I'm on the hunt for that. Uh, maybe, I know that there's like a guy who sells boat supplies over this way, right? I don't know if there are actually boat supplies or not, but it's sort of my best bet if my wind cleaver isn't gonna work. Also, what's, oh no, that's just a place where I can cash in stuff. Hmm. Maybe not though, maybe he just sells arrows and stuff. Things I don't really need too much. I'll take them all! <laughs> okay, uh, there's that. Why can't I find what I need to find? Also, can taking does taking photos of these help? I think it does. Uh, well, some of it. Iron shell crab, save. Yeah, cool. Okay, so uh, can I? I don't know what I was stuck on there. Armored porgy. Haven't taken a photo of that one. I've only taken a photo of the mighty porgy. And then taking a photo of these doesn't count, I guess, because it's not living or any kind of weapon or something. But then where in the world can I find a palm fruit? <laughs> Uh, can I find just some kind of Korok leaf so that I can get to where I need to go? Oh, what's this about? I have never been in this room before. Place your bets! Uh. Shh, come here, no, closer. How'd you like to be rich without having to work for it? Sounds too good to be true. Anything that sounds too good to be true isn't true. Hey, hey, Simmertown, I'm not talking about anything illegal here. See those treasure chests over there? What do you say to a little wager on them? The idea is you pick any chest you want and open it. Simple, right? The best part is whatever chest you open, you get all the money inside. Of course, only one chest is worth opening. <laughs> Don't come crying to me if you pick wrong. Before you go and open, or opening any boxes, you'll have to show me what it's worth to you. Well, it's a bet, uh, what's a bet after all if you don't stand to lose a, a bundle full on it? Uh, that's the part that really gets a man's heart racing. It's up to you how much you want to throw in, but the more you bet, the more you can stand to win. A man like you must have expenses. Couldn't hurt to make some quick cash right here, right now, am I right? What do you say? All you've got to lose is your pride and your money. I'm in. Atta boy. Now for the million rupee question, how much are you betting? Let's just do 10. <laughs> just tipping a toe in the water, eh? Probably smart. I'll go sit up, no peeking while I'm fiddling with the chest, got it? There we go, step right up and take your chances. Uh, take all the time you need to choose a chest to open. Look, listen, smell, taste them, if you think that'll help. <laughs> I don't. All right, well, just go for the one in the middle. And we get a single rupee. Okay, of course, betting is never a good idea, <laughs> unless you're willing to lose the money. Them's the breaks, but hey, surely you'll win big next time. You're gonna keep going, right, or do you Admit defeat, I don't think so. Uh, I hear, hey, if that's what you want, fair enough. Every good gambler knows there's a time to walk away. I'm always here in case you feel like trying your luck again. Well, I don't, so don't worry about it. Okay, so that was interesting, but still not a Korok leaf. Why is it so hard to find such specific things that are so necessary? I mean, maybe if I knock down a couple trees, that's sort of like my next best bet, so let's just go for it. Because sometimes that'll do something for you. I mean, I don't know if it'll happen for all these palm trees, but I'll try. Oh, there's a Hyrule Bass here. Go ahead and take a picture of that. At this point, I'm actually thinking about just teleporting to uh, Eventide Island and uh, trying my luck there. Ooh, what do we got down here? Is this his woodcutting axes? Oh, uh, looks like it. Not too exciting then. I, mean, I don't know if anybody's looking for these. There's a woodcutter's axe, and then down this way, this should be a different kind of axe, but still sort of the same. Uh, if I could actually grab it, instead of falling in the water, that is. But it probably won't be anything worthwhile. Uh, I'll try again, though. Oh, wait, don't fall. Link, what is your problem today, dude? Come on. Yeah, I can't quite reach it. I don't think it matters. I think it's an axe set. Yeah, I don't need. Interesting that you can just find random little things in the water, though. That's always good. All right, well, I'll be back once I find a Korok leaf. All right, so I did finally find the thing I was looking for. I might actually have to cut the rope off of here. There you go. <laughs> Make sure that actually does move us forward. So it looks like there's already a little bit of wind with how this thing's moving. I don't know if that, I, whoa, no, no, don't, what, what are you doing? I don't know if like Korok leaves really have like a proper durability or not, but 
we have a little while to travel if we want to find what we're trying to find, which is this circle. So for right now, I'm just gonna mark the beginning of it with that so we sort of just know where we need to be at the minimum. And then sort of work from there. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna try this. I don't know how well things are gonna turn out. I gotta be totally honest, you know? Uh, but we'll try it, we'll have some fun. We'll just hit the oceans like a big pirating adventure. If this would actually work, that is. Like, it's not really, I don't know if there's like some crosswinds or something, but we aren't making much progress here. This is gonna be a long trip if this keeps happening. What the heck? Come on, just go that way. There must be some opposing winds or something ridiculous here. I know the more we hit it, the faster we end up going after a while. That's what I'll be trying for. Come on, there we go. I mean, is those, those are the three rocks out in the distance right there. So it really isn't that bad. Come on, keep going. Now we're starting to build up some speed. So while it looks like it's far away, I think it just looks like that on the mini map. When you actually travel it, it really isn't too bad. So we should be able to do this. I might have even been able to swim there. Hard to tell. Uh, all right, we got some guys that might cause us some hard times here. I'm just gonna keep going, I'm ignore them. Yep, that's it. Now we're building up that speed, we're heading right for the rock! Ah, no, no! <laughs> oh boy, so what are we looking for here? Uh, sunken treasure. Oh, here we go. Okay, so let's get over there. Okay, so we're getting closer. We'll have these guys found us? He did, but then he gave up. You know what I'm gonna do as a bit of a uh, precaution when it comes to those guys, this is gonna be Lizalfo's. Um, with a Lizalfo's mask, perfect. All of our problems are solved, all right? Hopefully. In the meantime, let's open up some treasure. What do we got? It is a topaz. Very cool. Go ahead and I'm gonna move them. The ones we have found, I'm gonna move way over here. That way I just know for a fact I found them. Okay, so drop that, kick it open. We get a sapphire. Nice. Pretty big chest for some small things, but I guess it's always like that, isn't it? Okay, so once again, toss that way over that way. And then we got these two. Am I not at the right angle? Hard to tell. I think it's because of, oh, it's because of the sail in the way. Okay, got it. And then plop, grab, what do we got? Thunderblade, a magical sword forged from, oh yeah, we, know, we know what it is. Inventory's full. Well, I can change that real quick. Uh, there we go. Thunderblade's pretty cool to have, so I'll take it. And then we have one last one waiting for us. What could it be? I'm excited to find out. Grab it, bring it over this way. But how cool is that? We really found the sunken treasure. I mean, it wasn't golden. There was no golden triangle. So I never would've thought about this. Oh, hey, look, there's a fang and bone. So let's just try to get out the normal way. I think we can actually do this. If I just go to that one rock and then get it over there, and then we'll be at wherever we need to be for the fang and bone. So there we go, that's another quest completed. We're starting to make some progress, right? I mean, I don't really know if I actually wanna get anything from the Fang and Bone. I mean, we could try, but I really haven't made too much cash. So I could always just do it later. I mean, now I know he's gonna show up in all the major towns at certain times. You know, it'll be totally fine. So not too worried about that. I might get you. If you can drop some more raw prime meat. Actually, I probably should've took a photo of you. Have I taken a photo of this guy? I don't think I have. No, I have, he's a water buffalo. All right, I'm so sorry, buddy. You know what? You dodged that, you deserve the go. I'm so sorry for bothering you. All right, there's loud vehicles outside. We're back at Laurel and Village. So all I gotta do now is find the dude. All right, so here's this guy. Hey dude, maybe I'll go to bed. Don't go to bed yet, you really found it. Oh, incredible, after all these years, people still manage to surprise me. You know, there might be some treasure that yet sleeps in this ocean. A diligent boy like you could get rich finding it. Maybe all of your delving and in gold. Well, there we go. Sunken treasure, complete. That's all I wanted was another complete sign. So there we go, yet another quest done. The last one I wanna do for today's episode is going to be going to the adventure log and see whatever one that I had to take a photo of a bunny. I don't know which one that's gonna be, Traveler's Sword, uh, what's for dinner, no, no, that's not gonna be it. Take back the sea, stall horse pictured. Oh, I've never done that. If I can find a stall horse and take a picture of it, that'd be pretty easy. Death Mountain Secret, The Road to Respect. No, um, Fireproof Lizard. I think I might have almost 10 of those. The Eighth Heroine. Um, no. Good sized horse, an ice guy, no. 
Riddle's a high roll. Uh, you entered the third order of correctory. The fourth riddle is, oh yeah, this is the riddles from the Great Howard Forest. Ledger Rabbit Trial. Um, Peaks really wants to see what a bloopy looks like. Even a picture will do. Apparently a blo the bloopy is a mysterious creature that glows brightly as it scampers around. We got that one done. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, go to him, deliver him the picture, and it'll be all wrapped up, I think. I mean, we could see what the one delivery quest is. There's anything really more we can do with it if we have the next thing. I don't think we do, but uh, maybe we can find out sooner or later. But for now, let's get to it. And that'll be what? Three quests done today? I was hoping for four, but we never found the Traveler's Sword. Whenever I see a Traveler's Sword, I hope I don't forget to grab it, because then I'd feel silly. But uh, <laughs> let's get to it. We're at the Kyo Rug Shrine. And uh, we'll just get done what we need to get done. Where is this guy gonna be? I guess on the other side. So I'll try to get around to him. I guess the best way would just be keep it on foot. I don't need to climb over a bunch of stuff. Or maybe I do. I don't know why it spawns you in, in the back of the tree. You'd think it would just be a little bit more convenient with it, but no. All right, go down like that. Come on. Where is this guy? It feels like he's moving farther away from me. This tree is much larger than I anticipated, and I already knew it was a large tree. So yeah, he's probably just at the entrance. I probably went around the long way as well. That's sort of a thing I do. Oh, there were Korok leaves here too, I should have expected. It is the Korok village. Hmm. Where is this guy? Oh my gosh, I just, I can't find my way anywhere. Hold on, no, plot down. And then if we go up this way and into there, that's where we can find one, right? Find him. Yeah, and he's right here. Glow, glowy hoppy. Oh, Mr. Hero, did you bring him for me? Yep, here you go. Here's my photo. It's not a good photo. Wait a minute. Is that a real bloopy? Yep. Wow, it's even more beautiful than Peaks imagined. Thank you so much, Mr. Hero. Now I'm content. Oh, and there's a little thank you, and here's a little thank you gift. Peaks didn't forget. Ooh, nice, 100 rupees, we're back over 6,000. Oh yeah, Mr. Hero needs rupees sometimes, right? If you desperately need rupees, you should shoot an arrow at a bloopy. Oh my, I hear they drop lots of rupees if you hit them. Oh man, I'm so glad to see something so cool. Peaks is so happy right now. So I was supposed to attack them. All right, legendary rabbit trial complete. So there we go. Got a good chunk of quests done today. Hopefully we'll be able to continue getting more done next episode. And let me know if there's any specific quests you guys wanna see me do. If not, then I'll probably just continue to do them in order. Cause I, I sort of enjoy doing all of them. I don't wanna like pick and choose. I would love to be able to fully complete all of them at some point or another. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Bloopy Zebra so I know you've watched to the end of the You're a Zebra Tassie Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.